May the Lord stir our hearts into action. Beloved family, the Lord has quickened to me that this drastic change in our society that has taken place because of the virus has deliberately been allowed by him for many, many reasons. The chief one being a wake-up call to the world that we are living in the end times and are not prepared for what is coming. He is trying to wake up his sleeping beauty before the enemy completely takes her by surprise. One reason, dear ones, is that our focus on materialism and accomplishment has driven us to the point where we are not vigilant about subtle political changes that pass right by us, such as the things Obama instituted under the umbrella of Obamacare. Many things have been signed into law behind our backs that are being set up so that when the right moment arrives, innocent people can be arrested for no concrete reason at all. Because we have focused on money and success, our families and marriages are falling apart, while evil agendas in the schools are influencing our children and turning them into a generation without morals. They've been taught that bad is good, and good is bad. As a result, they have turned against parents who have tried to instill morals in them to save their souls. Lord, I know this message was your idea. Could you please speak to us about it? Jesus began, gladly. It has been on my heart, my people, that you don't realize that I have allowed these circumstances to wake you up and turn you around before it's entirely too late. Many Christians who pray passionately have jumped in the fray and kept evil from overturning this nation but just by the skin of its teeth. Many of you complain against me. Lord, why did you allow this to happen? The reason this is happening is because you were running headlong over a cliff, and I have done this to stop you and get your attention, to restore proper values in the home, to gather the families together rather than day after day, each one going about their own pursuits oblivious to what's going on in each other's lives. Curtailing the physical, busy, busy lifestyle has brought you face to face with the reality of your family's relationships, both in their weakest and strongest points. Many families have been disintegrating under their very own nose, and outside activities have kept them ignorant of what's really happening. I want you to draw together, my people, and examine your lives for the past few years. What are your values? How do you determine that? By looking at what you spend most of your time on, most of your money on, investing time in fruitless and evil video games has brought much demonic company into your homes. Do you understand? Your bodies are electrical machines that run on electrical impulses. Demons also run on this energy source, and it is so easy for them to interface with your brain and cause serious genetic damage to your genes, cutting you off from me by desensitizing the higher electrical currents in your bodies. You become used to loud, fast-paced music, which pulls you further away from my still, small voice. You become desensitized to violence by watching crimes committed and in video games participating in such things. You are being steered by the monster, Satan, who has found ways to make evil beautiful and desirable, feeding on your need to compete and accomplish also giving you a sense of accomplishment by playing in this multi-dimensional world of video games. The games themselves are a training ground for sin by desensitizing you from peace, gentleness, kindness, deeper thinking, brotherly love. All these games do is foster ambition to excel in violence and speed 
doing things that you have no idea how tied in they are to evil. When you blow up a building, you are not inside to see the little children ripped apart by the bombs. And this never enters your mind. But these feats of war are preparation for you to be able to pull the trigger on a bomb and not care who or what it hurts. Speed and agility are applauded without any thought of the consequences to human life. War becomes glamorous. But I tell you the truth, war is hell on earth. And Satan's agenda is to completely destroy the human race. So he is behind these games that are training your reflexes and lust for action and destruction. The enemy has fed you on this to prepare you to go out killing, stealing, and destroying in times of national distress which is his whole intention to inflict suffering and loss on mankind. Now you are face to face with family members. You struggle against the limitations this virus has put upon your lives. But it is exactly this limitation that I am using to get you to wake up to what is really going on in your lives and where you are really headed. This is no time to complain. Rather, this is the time to look at the emptiness in your lives, the lack of peace, joy, and the addictions that take you away from one another, such as the news and video games, drugs, pornography, and alcohol, as well as the huge void now in your lives from the rush here and rush there agenda that drives you every single day. You want to be free of these restrictions that COVID has put on you, but you have not yet understood all the implications of your busy lifestyle. And the worst of these is that your nation has been taken over by wicked men, and there is a life and death struggle going on to steal life from you. I need you to wake up and pray. Wake up and see what's happening behind the scenes in your lives. I need you to see the stealthy moves these corrupt politicians have made while you are conquering your next level of the game. Yes, they have deliberately hooked you into addiction to keep you out of reality and what your life and country is becoming. They have set you up to go here, go there, do this, do that, to the point that you are totally unaware that you are caught in a net of destruction because day by day your rights and morals are being taken from you under the guise of freedom and fun. My people, wake up. It's not about prosperity. More things, more freedoms, more fun, more entertainment. What is happening to you is that you are being chained down, confined, controlled, and programmed to go along with Satan's agenda. All of this is being accomplished through deceitful entertainment that applauds what is evil and denounces what is good. In this moment, you may enjoy the game, but you will wake up to find out you've been lured into a bondage, and the only way out is through your God, whom you've been taught to despise. Children, children, children. Ten-year-old children, twenty-year-old children, thirty-year-old children, forty- and fifty-year-old children. Life is being stolen from you right under your nose. The beauties of your family, the sweetness of a relationship with me, the freedoms your nation was founded on, your health and a right to live, all these things are slowly being taken from you. I want you to understand the evil ones have drugged you into subservience. As long as you can have your video games and pornography and entertainment, they can keep your focus off of what they're doing behind your backs. And what they are doing is to destroy you from off the planet and take your rights to freedom. They want to plant a device in you that will program your thinking, your moods, your actions, your desires and keep you oblivious to their motives. 
oblivious to why they program these video games the way they do, oblivious to why they present sexuality as recreational, oblivious to what is right and what is wrong, so that you will degenerate into an animal, a beast, and not a human being formed in my image. I am telling you these things because you are complaining about the very restrictions I have allowed in your lives to turn you from the loss of your soul and eternity in hell. I want you to wake up America and the world and see that it is not about your productive, prosperous lifestyle. It is about human relationships, your children, your family, your nation, your relationship with me and the destruction of everything good on this earth that I've entrusted to you. I want you to rethink these times and see that you are standing at a critical crossroads where evil is lurking to get the upper hand and destroy two-thirds of the earth's population. Yes, that means you and those you hold dear. I want you to go deeper, my people, much deeper, and embrace eternity, where you will be headed if you do not change your course. I want you to learn the truth and not swallow lies that will make you feel good on the way to your next baseball game or amusement park. Stop hurrying past the issues that mean life or death to you and your family in this nation. Stop ignoring the deeper issues and start examining what is behind these faces that tell you who to like and who to hate and what to think. You have been lied to on a massive scale. It's time for you to go deeper. Set aside your toys and entertainments and examine who and what these people who have been running this country really are. Where are they from? Who do they work for? What is their agenda? And what have they been doing behind closed doors? Go deeper. Secure your liberty. Break through facades and lies, recognizing who they are and who they are not. Recognize that your nation is hanging on a thread, and if ever there was a time to rise up, it is now, and quickly. As a result of this virus, which they meant for your harm, I am showing you what your life has been like and where it is going if you don't act now. You've been slowed down, confined, and given an opportunity as never before to recognize what you are dealing with and where you are surely headed if you don't make radical changes in your lifestyle and this nation. Because if you do not get control of this, they will get control of you and make those radical changes against your will and much to your sorrow and destruction. It's not too late if you rise up now. My people, wake up and recognize what you are dealing with. Go deeper and discover the evil among you. And even more important, return your affections to me, because I alone have the power to deliver you in this crucial hour. But I must see you reform your lives and pray for the overturn of evil and the victory of what is right and good. Stop basing your opinions on the news media. Go deeper and find out who is really who and what they're really up to. Make righteous judgments about your leaders. It is not my job alone to turn this nation around. It's up to you to be informed to know the truth and to pray accordingly. Then I can raise my mighty arm and strike the enemy, overturning the death and destruction he has decreed for you, which is looming on the horizon. My blessing is upon you, my people, my children, to arise, arise, arise. Take up the truth and fight for it.